guys how you doing i hope you are doing fine well in this video i'll be discussing counseling structure i'll be discussing counseling structure first of all before i go to counseling structure i would like you to know what is the meaning of counseling dr mo what is counseling stations in the exam what is the meaning of counseling station counseling station is a station that is already diagnosed so the station is diagnosed the station is diagnosed the patient knows about his condition however he's coming today because he has a concern he is concerned he is concerned so don't forget counseling equal what is the first letter in counseling c equal concern equal concern so counseling equal concern c and c so don't forget that in counseling station you need to know the patient to concern because counseling station is diagnosed station a patient who knows about his condition a patient who is epileptic a patient who is diabetic but today he's coming because he's concerned about something counseling concern if you approach a counseling station without asking about the patient to concern you have had it okay so counseling equal concern so now what is the counseling structure in order to give you the counseling structure, first of all, we will discuss in the following videos all about counseling stations in details. However, today I'd like to give you a structure about counseling station. What is counseling structure station? So I will give you an example from plat 2. Then we can discuss it. We can apply this example in the structure. Then you will reach your structure and you will have a map. Okay. For example, a patient who's diabetic, Mr. Tony Montana. Is diabetic he's 60 years old diagnosed diabetes a week ago he had a dizzy episode he felt dizzy he was driving back then and talked to him and this is concern today is coming for a follow-up or today is coming because he has a concern so counseling equal concern so counseling structure will consist of three parts three parts three parts part one Part one, part one, relevant or, or, or focus history. So part one, relevant or focus history. So part one is relevant to history or focus history. Relevant to history dash focus history. Part two is, is explaining explaining what about diagnosis or explaining about his concerns or explaining about his condition part three part three is management so three parts three parts in counseling station counseling equal concern so the first part is relevant history focus history i will tell you now what is relevant history or what is focus history the second part is explaining about the patient to condition or explaining about the reason why he's coming for the visit the third part is management dr mo can you please elaborate can you please tell us what's happening in the relevant history or in the focus history i will ask only three questions only yes the patient is diabetic the patient had developed dizziness a week ago so when I take relevant history, when I take relevant history, it will be only three questions. Only three questions. Only three questions. Relevant history. Number one, I will ask about diabetes. Number two, I will ask about risk factors. Number three, I will ask about complications. So I will ask about diabetes. I will ask about risk factors. I will ask about the complications. This is the first part, relevant history or focus history. Then, explaining about his condition or explaining about what happened, which is the dizziness that he had, which later on we will get to know it is hypoglycemia. I will explain about it. So I will explain all about hypoglycemia. Hypoglycemia. And don't panic. I will explain everything when I give you the example now. Management, I will use arms. Arms. A-R-M-S. 
That's it. So, Dr. Mo, can you please give us the example? Tell us what happened. Okay. So, the question said the patient was diabetic and he developed a week ago dizziness. He developed a week ago dizziness. So, what do you think the presenting complaint is? Why is he coming today? What is his main what? What is his main concern? What is his main concern? His main concern is dizziness, yeah, brother. Yeah, brother, his main concern is dizziness. So first, I said counseling equal concern. So explore the dizziness. Explore the dizziness, which is his main concern. You see, dizziness, I brought it before the three parts. Why? Because counseling equal concern. The first letter in counseling is C, concern. His concern is dizziness. He's not concerned about diabetes. He's coming because last week he developed dizzy attack. So then explore the concern, which is dizziness, in details. So when did it happen? How did it happen? Did you lose consciousness? Did you lose consciousness? Apart from the dizziness, any other symptoms? So that's the main concern. So explore about the main concern. Explore about what brought him for this visit, which is dizziness. By the way, this is just a structure and every single station will be discussed in details. So after exploring the dizziness, after exploring what happened and after asking him just before the dizziness, yeah, brother, just before the dizziness, what were you doing? Very important question. So after exploring all about the dizziness, then start taking history. So say to him, I can see now dizziness is finished, then I will start. I can see from my note that you have been diagnosed diabetes. Yes, doctor. Is okay if I have a chat about it. Yes. Then ask about the diabetes. You see? Diabetes. Diabetes. Which is the condition. The chronic condition that he has, your brother. Ask about the diabetes. When were you diagnosed? Is it type 1 or type 2? What medication are you on? Do you use the medication as it was prescribed? Do you go for a regular follow-up? Do you measure your blood sugar? Is it controlled or not? Then I will go to the risk factors. But before the risk factor, I will ask about the complication because it will fit better. I will ask about the complication. Complication of diabetes, heart, kidneys, kidneys, numbness in the hands or feet, and vision problem. So I'll ask the patient about vision. I'll ask about the patient about the kidney. I'll ask the patient about the heart, and chest pain, numbness, hand and feet. Then I will go to the risk factor. And in the risk factor, the risk factor for diabetes is DASA. The risk factor for diabetes is DASA. Diet, exercise, smoking alcohol, and then my history is done. That's it. That's it. Yes, that's it. So I've given you the stem, and I said to you counseling equal concern. In the stem, the patient is coming because he's dizzy. So I said to you counseling equal concern. So the concern, what brought him is dizziness, explore dizziness. After exploring the dizziness in details, and one of the most important questions is what? Loss of consciousness? Did he lose consciousness or not? And what else? Just before the dizziness, what happened? Just before the dizziness, what happened? What happened just before dizziness? And what else? And the other symptoms of dizziness, all this here, in the concern. Then I said to you, you will start by relevant focus history. The patient is diagnosed diabetes. So, you will ask about diabetes in details, complication of diabetes in details, risk factors of diabetes. Why do I need to ask about risk factor? Yeah, brother. I will tell you now, later on, because I will use it in management. Always, you get the risk factors to use it in management. So, I will ask about the complications, I will ask about the risk factors, and the risk factors focus, data. Now, I'll go to the second part, which is what? which is explaining about the concern or explaining about the condition. What is his main concern? Dizziness. So I need to tell him all about dizziness and why did he have it and what is the condition that he developed. So explain about the concern or explain about the condition which is I'm suspecting hypoglycemia. So explain about the concern dash condition. When you take history about dizziness, he will give you Doctor, I'm from Egypt. I love chocolate, you know. So I went to an Egyptian party 
the broad plenty of chocolate so i took too much chocolate and i injected myself with too much insulin then i started driving home then i was dizzy while i was driving then i stopped my car and when i stopped my car i had something sugary then i became good by the way praise him on the fact that he stopped because he was feeling dizzy and he didn't carry on driving praise him on it so now when you take history about business as i mentioned to you in details i said take the detailed history what happened just before the business did you lose consciousness and he gave you this history of too much insulin then when you come to hypoglycemia when you explain the condition explain the condition in details what do you mean dr mo in details tell him the fact that you had dizziness is because of such and such which is injecting yourself with too much insulin that caused the condition called hypoglycemia hypoglycemia is low blood sugar low blood sugar the symptoms of hypoglycemia are one two three four one two three four if you have such symptoms what to do if you have such symptoms what to do so for example if you have hypoglycemia if you have such symptoms take something sugary so if you have hypoglycemia, to do. if you are driving stop and now later on i will be talking about dvla you understand so explain the condition explain the symptoms of this condition explain the causes why did he have it it's because of injecting too much insulin and tell him if this happened what to do this is the most important part which is explaining about the condition this is the core of the station if you don't do this well you have had it you're not gonna pass the station if you don't explain this part well as you can see part one is history part two is explaining part three is management so the core the heart of the station is the middle is the middle part which is explaining all about hypoglycemia because the patient needs to know what he has what is the condition like the causes why do i need to tell the patient about the causes because he will need to prevent it later on so he doesn't have the condition again okay and i will need to tell him if he does develop the condition what to do the symptoms of the condition what to do if you do the condition anyway and the third part is management management and counseling stations simply i will use arms as you can see arms a r w m s a4 advice r4 risk factor risk factors m4 medication as well as investigation the second the m4 multidisciplinary team mdt and s4 safety netting and the s4 safety netting by the way this patient presented to the gp not to the ne so some people will say do we need to admit him he's in the gp clinic yeah so in management i will use arms arms not just one arm two arms okay arms i will use arms a for advice r for risk factor and medication as well as investigations the second m mdt multidisciplinary team or who i will need to involve so the mdt is basically who i will need to involve yeah that's the meaning of mdt who i will need to involve who i will need to involve mdt and s for safety netting but bear in mind something very important the risk factor and the advice they will come together i will tell you how okay but you need to have these steps arms so when i took history of the patient i found that dizziness was because of what was because of too much insulin for example so when i took history because in management it will be all management will all come from history so when i took history from the patient for example he was dizzy because he injected too much insulin okay that's the first finding he injected too much insulin okay and when i asked about desa he eats fast food and he doesn't do exercise so one risk factor is too much insulin when i came and i spoke about desa he eat too much fast food and he doesn't do exercise so how many factors the three too much insulin fast food lack of exercise so when i come to a and r they come together r is the risky factors how many risky factors i've mentioned three 
too much insulin diet exercise so too much insulin injection diet is fast food lack of exercise so i will say to him like this as you mentioned to me that you inject yourself with too much insulin so i highly advise you to take your dose as it is prescribed so risk factor and the advice they come together what do you think about it you also mentioned to me that you eat too much fast food yes doctor well fast food is one of the reason why okay the patient blood sugar will increase and one of the reason why the blood sugar will not be controlled so i highly advise you to decrease the amount of fast food that you are eating is that something you can do so all the time have you noticed the risk factor i mentioned and what advice i will give him so i said to him as you have been eating too much fast food then what is the advice i highly advise you to cut down on fast food but why doctor because it's one of the reasons why you will have uncontrolled blood sugar so have you noticed the three golden tips that i always mention in management which is two-way conversation yes as you told me this what do you think of this consent yes can you do that for me and why 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 am i talking to about diet because it's one of the risk factor one of the reasons why you will not have a controlled blood sugar so three golden tips in management three golden tips in management number one two-way conversation number two it's optional it's not by force number three consent and tell the patient why are you doing this so always in management advice and risk factors will come together always start with the risk factor as you've mentioned to me this and it is one of the risk factors for this i highly advise you to do this with your wife then the mdt sorry the m4 medications and the investigation and here i will talk about medication and, and, and the investigation for example in diabetic cases hemoglobin a1c and blood sugar everything i will do cholesterol yeah so i will talk about the investigations that i will do which again if you follow the previous video which i spoke about investigations blood urine stool image again i will follow the same and i will do my investigation only for this case medication again i will be talking about the medication will you adjust his dosage will you increase it will you decrease it or you give him something else so again in medication and investigation part this is just a structure and every single case will be discussed in details this is just a structure so in medication dash investigations make sure you mention the investigation that, re that is related to the case and the investigation that you will do and medication as well then mdt mdt is the multidisciplinary team which means your senior yes your senior and the others that will be involved like in this case for example diabetic referral you need to refer him to diabetic clinic is there something in uk called diabetic clinic yes yes diabetic clinic there is a diabetic nurse specialist and there is a diabetic clinic so in this case mdt which means in brackets who i will involve in his care two people senior and diabetic specialist then safety netting ah uh, do you remember in the previous video i have talked about safety netting i said in safety netting you need to safety netting about two things number one the presenting complaint number two the complications and in this case the presenting complaint was dizziness which is hypoglycemia the reason and number two safety net about complication which again was the hypoglycemia complication of diabetes so in this case in the safety netting you must educate 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 him about hypoglycemia you must educate him you must educate him about hypoglycemia again the condition the symptoms what are the causes or the risk factor for hypoglycemia what to do what to do if he developed hypoglycemia and finally talk about driving finally talk about driving because it's very important here to talk about driving okay this is just a structure everything will be discussed but this is just a structure of how to approach counseling stations and as used to me i always like to improve i always like to work on things and i always like to add new stuff and new approaches so thank you very much and i will see you in the second video thank you